everyone. Paul Hernandez here with Sideshow. Um, look who I ran into. What's Hi, up, Tom? Paul. How's it going? I'm Tom Spina from Regal Robot. We're down here at booth 2518 just trying to make it through day two. <laughs> We're, day two, he said. Day two. two. It's oh only God. been two of them what so a show. far. I know. You know, Tom, the last time we ran into each other was yeah. uh, online. Oh, As that's most right. people have, That's we right. just yeah. shown that incredible, incredibly limited. I think it was limited to like 150 of the salacious crumb. That's right. They all sold out very, very quickly. Yeah. We're just excited to be here and sharing all the other stuff we've been working on, but it hadn't been allowed to talk about for like yes. the last six months. But now you can. Yes. I now know. you can. And it's outstanding. And we will talk about it. Don't oh, you worry. Yeah. We will talk about everything you can we'll find. We'll give you guys some tidbits, maybe. Oh, yeah. If so, you're good. But let's get to know Tom, the collector, oh. before we get into hey, the, the real right. robot himself. All right. uh, Tom, what you know, figure or collectible do you most remember making an impact on you when you Ooh. started collecting? Is it maybe a collector or as a kid? Like, what, oh, yeah. what immediately being? I mean, I was a collector from the, I mean, from before Star Wars, but oh, certainly okay. when Star Wars came out, that's when the juice, oh, you know, yeah, it was loose. It was juice like, okay, loose. Yeah. that's it. Yeah. It's out. That's it. So um, the Don Post masks were really the first oh. thing that triggered something. You know, the figures okay. were there. I got, the blue snaggletooth for Christmas, and he was always my favorite figure. I didn't know he had any value. <laughs> I didn't know he was special. I just freaking loved him. Yeah. But when the Don Post Cantina band guy mask was there, I'm like a kid and looking at it thinking like, this is the prop from the movie. Like, this is the <laughs> real thing. This is incredible. And that just drove this thing in okay. me to want to sculpt the cantina monsters, to want to make stuff for a living, to want to make monsters for a living. And all these years later, that's what I get to do. And it's pretty amazing. And it's so, really is thanks so to Star Wars. So you sculptor and painter. I mean, it, yeah. like, we're just having a casual conversation in front of right. a Tauntaun yes. head. Yes. You do, as you do at Celebration. Of course. So uh, what hit first? Painting, sculpting? What was your, what, I, what was sort of the gateway? I mean, it? as a kid, it was, I was always drawing and stuff. Okay. But they'd have that thing in class where they'd say, oh, here's a paper bag. Uh, make a Chewbacca mask or make a C-3PO yeah, or something. Yeah. And all the kids would draw on it. And I'd like steal my dad's stapler and tape and start like cutting the paper, oh. and, like, you know, moving it around. Go 3D and, like, with I it. I wanted to shape yeah. things. Mm -hmm. And so there was that, there was Play-Doh, there was Lego oh, blocks. Game changer. Like all these things yeah. I could make three dimensional stuff with. And so that really is what called to me. Yeah. And, you know, I, I spent my high school years learning to do makeup effects, yeah. learning to make molds, learning to make masks, things like that. And then I taught myself how to sculpt heads by sculpting all the cantina monsters and wound oh, up getting to wow. do that for Lucasfilm, for commercials and for videos and things like that. The little kid watching Star Wars on the screen and being blown away by the cantina scene then gets to make the cantina scene for like oh, a Super God. Bowl spot 20 years later, 30 years later. It's it's crazy how life works like it, that. It, it is. And, you know, Tom, now that we've got to know you a little bit better, let's talk yeah. about Regal Robot and your presence at Star Wars Celebration. Oh, First boy. of all, it feels good to be back. It totally right? does. Oh, like, my how gosh. nice There's is it? so many people I just haven't seen in three right. years now. And you're like, last time I saw you, you were in a little you were in a little box exactly. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> now, so Regal Robot has touched on so many different corners of the pop culture universe, but we're talking yeah. Star Wars. We're right. at Celebration. Of course. So Tom, as a huge, you know, uh, Star Wars Star fan Wars from nerd. the kid, Star yeah, Wars nerd. Say it. I, I didn't want to, you know, okay. <laughs> Star Wars nerd, like the rest of us. Wear uh, with honor. How do you even begin to limit to what you want to start sculpting, and how does that process come about? That's such a good question, because we agonize over what's going to be next. And, and really, a lot of it comes down to me and Rob at the shop okay. going like, what do we want to put on our shelf? You know? <laughs> it's like, because ultimately we're collectors, we're fans. So right. really it's all so freaking cool. Yeah. You know, and you get to go someplace like the Lucas Home Archives up at the Skywalker Ranch and you're just looking around going like, well, we can make this, we can make that, we can make this, we can make that. Like, yeah. it's so hard just to actual choose. inspiration you breathe in. You have yeah, to. Yeah, it's have just, to. it's amazing. Yeah. And, you know, so for us, sometimes it's about what feels right next okay. in terms of what we've just released. Maybe we just did something big or on the high ticket side, so maybe we want to do something a little lower ticket. Okay. Or maybe it's something where it's like, oh, we've done a droid, so now we should do something that's more of a creature. Okay. So you like to you spread it out wanna, a bit. Yeah, we okay. don't want to put like the same thing out all the time. Right. But ultimately, it really is down to like, 
what do we want to put on our shelves? Like, hey, it'd be really neat to have a salacious right. crumb. And then we go, let's get the guy who sculpted salacious <laughs> crumb to make that with us because I, I'm lucky enough to know him. No, now you and, mentioned things that you guys want to see. Now, a lot of things that people want to see here, let's talk exclusive. Yeah. What did Regal Robot bring to Celebration? So we just started what we're calling the archive collection. Okay. We've been so lucky we get to go to the archives. We've worked with them for years doing restoration Lucas, work and right. things like that. And now as a licensee, we can go there, we can 3D scan stuff and wow. safely you know, reproduce these artifacts of these movies that we love. So we're able to go in there and say, what speaks to us? What right. can we pull together? And so a big part of that archive collection is gonna be the maquette series. Okay. We've already done a handful of these. Wow. Over the years, we've done a Tauntaun that came out of Phil Tippett's original molds. We oh, did a wow. Gamorrean that came out of Tony McVeigh's molds for uh, um, Book of Boba and Mandalorian. Okay. We've done the Job of the Hut, which we went and examined the real one at the archives years ago. And now we're like, okay, you know, when I was a kid, I watched uh, Return of the Jedi making of called like, oh you know, God. there was the creature documentary. And then okay. I watched the, uh, it was called Classic Creatures. And then from Star Wars to Jedi, the making of a saga over oh, okay. and over and over again. And in that documentary, there's this great panning shot where they go across all these maquettes. And there's great music. That music and those maquettes are burned in my brain. Yeah. So for us to go there and in the archive see a shelf and be able to like pan your eyes across it, just like the camera did when you were right. a kid, it's insane. Because and I'm it's... like, we now have the chance to give people a chance to do this in their house. Right. And so that's what we're doing with this collection. We are going to take what we get to see in the archives, what we get to handle, take these artifacts, 3D scan them, make them in the USA, hand paint them in our shop, and be able to send them to people's houses so they can have a piece of the archives in their own collection. Oh Open a box and feel like they just pulled something out of a documentary that like blew when them you were a kid. when they were a kid. Mm -hmm. So if they go to our website, right. regalrobot.com, they can go to the news page and there's a page that shows everything we revealed at the show. Okay. And that's from the new maquettes that are coming. It's our one-to-one Tauntaun bust. It's our one-to-one -one Gaffy sticks that we're doing. It's our Rancor Corbel super deep cut, only oh. in the no nerds even <laughs> know what this is, wall decor that we're doing. And if they happen to come by the booth, we've got three great exclusives that are here every day oh, right okay. now. We've got our Blue Harvest wall plaque because everybody loves the code name for Return of the Jedi. Blue Harvest. We've got our Walrus Man arms two pack right. magnets because cut off limbs. It's Star Wars. Yeah. And then it's part we've of got the... our Wise Monkey <laughs> Lizards bronze desk accessory. It's a, a faux bronze <laughs> resin piece. It's three salacious crumbs on a slab like Jabba's Palace. Oh. And they're doing the hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. <laughs> and it's just so fun. And that's, that's incredible. It's offbeat. It's very us. Come see us, come say hi, take home the exclusives before they're gone. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we look forward to seeing you online. Please follow us on social. We're Please. at Regal Robot. Yeah. We're real easy to find. Well, Wise Monkey Lizards is the name of our new ska band. Oh I've my called God. it now. Yes. Uh, Tom, thank you so much for all of your time. I got the guitar. Right. Hey, we're oh, that's an original. We don't have to pay for the royalties on that. That's, it. that's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, thank you so much, Tom. Enjoy the rest of your celebration. Take some time to actually enjoy it. I'm gonna do it. Thank you all so much for watching. Follow Regal Robot, and don't forget to let your geek side show.